Greetings, this is This and I am Me, and today we are taking apart this. It's a wooden puzzle this time, not a metal puzzle like I usually have, but um, it's gonna go along the same sort of concept, okay? Which is find the piece that wiggles and take that one out and the rest will fall apart. <laughs> so seemingly, yes, it looks like, oh, like what? What's going on here? How do I how do I get this apart? You know, like everything seems locked into place, right? But all you have to do is find the key piece, find the trick piece. So it's going to be one of the pieces um, like this, for starters, okay? See how this is a piece and this is a piece because there's a split right here? Um, this piece is one whole piece. Like both of my, my hands right now are touching the same piece. Whereas these are two separate pieces because this split, those are two separate pieces. Okay. So check all of the sides that are like this, that have like a big gap right here. And this one does not wiggle very much. That's not the right one. Um, so don't check these, but check this. Okay. This, mm, not thinking it's that one either. Okay. How about right here? Uh, yeah, that's wiggling a good bit. Definitely seems more promising, but I don't really feel like I can do anything with that. Um, oh, well, looky right here. See how much this piece is wiggling? That's because this is the piece that I can take out, okay? And I will show you guys another way that you can tell. You don't just have to check every piece, okay? <laughs> because you can see right here... Um, this corner is, you know, sharp, like a 90 degree angle, but this corner has been sort of sheared down so that I can do that. Ooh, no, I'm ruining it. I have to show you guys piece by piece. You can't come apart just yet. So yes, the first thing you want to do is you will want to move this piece down like this, okay? The piece that has like a chipped corner. I hope you can see that chipped corner. It's easier to see it when it's here. See? And it slides right out like that. And then once you have this piece folded down like that, you can't take this piece out yet, but you can fold it down. Then you can take this piece out. Okay. And you can take this piece out and I'm going to set them all down where they went so that I will show I can show you guys how to put it back together more easily. But if you just took one piece out and it all fell apart and you just have all of the pieces in a pile and you're confused, don't worry. I will tell you where every piece goes. Um, so this piece can come out and go right there. Um, and then we can take this piece out. That was the top piece. And then we have the bottom piece and this last side piece right here. So that's all the pieces, that's how you take it apart. Once again, as with, it usually is with these puzzles, as with it usually is with these puzzles, I don't know what I'm saying. Um, taking it apart is actually extremely easy once you find the one piece to move. Putting it back together is more difficult because usually it just falls apart and then you don't know where anything goes. So, here we go. You gotta put it back in reverse order, okay? So the first thing you're going, every single piece is different. Some of them look similar, but they are not. Everyone is different. So if you have them all in a pile, just find the ones that I tell you to find, okay? First one you're going to want is the bottom piece, which looks like this, okay? It has a rectangular cutout on this side with a smaller one on half of the side, okay? So this cutout doesn't go the full length of this cutout. It's only like half of the size. Um... And it's the same on both sides, okay? Exactly the same on both sides. This is the piece you want. If you look at it from the top down, it's just that one little chunk missing right there. I don't actually think any of the other ones have that. If you look top down from this one, it has a full chunk missing. See, this only has partially chunk missing. Um, so this is the one you are looking for and hold it just like this, okay? It actually doesn't matter with this piece because this side and this side are the same. Well, actually, it does matter, because if you're holding it this way, then the notch is on the left, whereas if you hold it this way, the notch is on the right. Hold it so that the notch is on the right, okay? You can put it together the other way, but your instructions would be, like, mirrored to mine. So if you want to follow along, 
keep the notch closer to the right side. Then you're going to want to find this piece. Okay, this piece has, they all have like a, a rectangular chunk taken out right here, okay? So this is more what you want to focus on the top portion. This one has two chunks taken out and a little notch still in the middle there, okay? And the other side, like the two sides look different. This side has an indentation near the top and the other side is smooth. It's like, it's uniform on the whole side, okay? So I'm holding this so that the uniform side is on my right and the side with the notch taken out is on the left. Okay? Because then if you'll see, these two pieces can go together perfectly like this. Now they're not gonna feel the most snug um, when you put them into place, but you have to just hold them the way that they are, okay? Hold them like this. This notch goes right into this hole, okay? And then, we can put this top piece back into place. But we're not putting it like this, which is how it would go when it's finished, because remember, we tipped it, okay? At the right of the start, we tipped it. So when we're putting it back in, we're putting it in sideways, okay? And the top piece, let me explain which one it is for you guys. Don't mind my pieces over here not exactly being right. So the top piece, the easiest way that you'd be able to find it is with the corner here that is, you know, shaved off. The piece with one 90 degree corner and then the other corner is like um, 45 degree angle, okay? And another way is you can just look, it has like the rectangular big chunk right there, um, but that doesn't go all the way through. There's a tiny little bar here and then this whole portion on the top is taken out. Okay, and the way that I'm holding it, um, the notched corner is forward and the 90 degree angle corner is closer to me, okay? And so when we put that in here, we're just gonna slide it right, slide it right in here, okay? Keep sliding until you get it in the notch that it belongs in and just hold it there, okay? <laughs> I know you have to hold a lot of things in place for now, but it will be fine because it will all work out in the end. So hold everything like this. You can put this finger here if you want to hold everything in place with just one hand, which is what I'll do while I'm explaining the rest of the pieces to you guys. So next, well here, let me switch hands. Next I think I, I took this piece out. You can probably take these out in maybe a different order, I don't know, but so the left piece. The left piece, um, one side looks like it just has the big rectangular notch. The other side looks like it just has the big rectangular notch, but all the way through to the top, okay? And the way I want to put it in is with the way that's all the way through to the top facing down, okay? Slide that right in between <laughs> these pieces. See, I have, I have these, a gap here. Slide it right through there, okay? And it should slide into place with this bottom piece. This is the bottom piece. I know I have it tipped. It's normally like this, but um, it will slide right into place. Trust me, it will, if you don't put them all crooked at the start. Okay, that's better. <laughs> See, it, th this piece is in the gap of this piece. Okay, and you have to hold them there or else they will fall apart, okay? Because the one piece holding them all together isn't locked into place yet. So, that's that. Then we can take this piece, which is going to be going right here, okay? And this piece has a whole big rectangular notch all the way through, the, through to the top with an extra little chunk taken out on the side. The other side, big rectangular notch, not all the way through to the top, and then a rectangular, like tiny rectangular notch taken out to the side, okay? And I know these might sound like confusing descriptions, but just check all of your pieces, okay? Because they're not all the, the same. This piece is unique. Just find this piece, <laughs> okay? And hold it so that the little, the baby notch is down, okay? We're holding it like this, and we're going to slide it into place here. Line this up with this, slide it in, okay? And then hold it there. 
we've got most of our sides into place. Remember, this piece is the top piece. It will be turning up like this, but for now we're keeping it folded down. We have one more piece to put in, and it's easy because it's the last piece that you have left over, but if you still want to know the exact description, <laughs> it's got the rectangular notch not all the way to the top, and then it's got a big, wide, wide notch on the top. The other side has the big, wide notch also, but um, the, whatchamacallit, the big rectangular notch would go to the top technically. You can see it's like it's carved out all like the whole way on this side, whereas on this side it's there's a stopper. Okay? And hold it so that the stopper is on the top portion. Okay? And then we're sliding this one into place right here. Okay? And now things should feel pretty stinking solid. And all you have to do is move this piece back up. And there you have it guys. Now, you gotta be careful because this piece is actually pretty loose. So, um, if you want it to stay together, kind of jiggle the pieces around a little bit. <laughs> I feel like it's helpful. Um, and it will, it will stay together, but also it's very easy to just go bloop and do that and then the whole thing will start to fall apart. So be careful. <laughs> but, um, yeah. There you have it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye bye now.